Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to do French notes. First of all, I am going to show you how to do French notes using six strands. First of all, you have to pull out the needle from the cloth as shown. Then you have to hold the thread in your left hand and needle in your right hand. Afterwards, you have to wind the thread around the needle two times as shown in the video. Then slowly insert the needle into the cloth at the very next point where you pulled out the thread. Then tighten the thread using your left hand and slowly insert the needle into the cloth, slowly pulling it down from the bottom by twisting it. Do not apply any extra force. So gently pull down the thread as it is shown in the video. So this is how you do a French knot. Again, pull out the needle from the cloth as shown. Hold the thread in your left hand and needle in your right hand. Wind the thread around the needle for two times. Slowly insert the needle onto the cloth at the very next point and tighten the thread. Then pull down the needle from below very gently without applying any extra force. In order to learn the French knots properly, it is very important that you understand the steps for doing it. You have to hold the thread and needle in your left and right hands respectively. Then wind the thread around the needle as shown. Slowly insert the needle to the very next point and then tighten the thread and twist and pull down the needle from below. Now I am showing you how to do the French knots using six strands. If you do not have any ideas about uh, how many number of strands you have to use, you can check out the description for the link of the video in which I am explaining about how many strands you have to use for each stitch. So you have to practice French knots on a straight line like this. First you won't be able to do it properly along a straight line but you have to practice it again and again to do it properly. In order to finish the thread you have to tie a knot by fixing the thread onto the cloth as shown in the video. You should not apply any extra force or you should not pull the thread with your fingers. If you pull the thread with too much force, it will damage the stitches. After tying the knot, cut off the extra thread using the scissors. Next I am going to show you how to do French knots using 12 strands. Again we are following the same steps. Pull out the needle from the cloth as shown. Hold the thread in your left hand and needle in your right hand. Wind the thread around the needle just one time because we are using 12 strands. Insert the needle at the very next point. Pull the thread tight and slowly pull down the needle from below very gently. If you face difficulty in pulling down the needle, slowly twist the needle with your fingers. Again one more time, pull out the thread, hold the thread in your left hand and needle in your right hand, wind the thread around the needle just one time, insert the needle into the cloth and pull the thread tight, slowly pull down the needle from below by twisting it gently. Do not pull down the thread with too much force, otherwise it will damage the stitch. If you need to do bigger French knots, you can use 12 strands for doing it. Again, if you are doing big flowers and all to fill it easily, you can use 12 strands for doing the French knots. Remember that when you are using 12 strands for doing the French knots, you only have to wind the thread around the needle one time.
Next, I am going to show you how to do flowers using French knots. So, I am stitching the leaves first. If you do not know how to stitch the leaves, you can check out the description for the link for the tutorial of leaves. For doing a French knot flower, I am using 6 strands of threads and I am going to wind the thread around the needle 2 times. For doing a French knot flower, you have to mark the border of the flower first with the French knots. So I am starting from the border of the flower and I am doing French knots to mark the border of the flower first. Make sure that all the French knots are of same size and you are not applying any extra force to pull down the thread. If you pull down the needle from below with lot of forces, it will affect the beauty of the stitches. So always be gentle while doing embroidery. So I have finished doing the border of the flower. I have done French knots in circle. Next what I have to do is I have to start doing the next layer of French knots inside the border of the flower. Like that you have to keep on doing French knots at the center of the flower so that no space is left. So this is how you do a French knot flower. Next, I am going to show you how to stitch a heart shape using French knots. Just like I have told before, first you have to do French knots along the border of the shape you are doing. If it is a flower, you have to do it in circle. If it is a heart shape, you have to do the border of the heart shape first using the French knots. I am using 12 strands for doing this heart shape. So I am winding the thread around the needle only one time. So as you can see I am doing French knots along the border of the heart shape. You have to practice French knots first properly along a straight line in order to do different shapes like heart shape and flowers. Now you can see that I have stitched French knots along the border of the heart shape. Next what I am going to do is, I am going to fill the center of the heart shape with random French knots. While filling the inner part of any shapes, you have to make sure that there is no vacant space left behind. Here I am showing you only two applications of French nodes. There are large number of applications for French nodes. For example, you can even do hair embroidery, leaf embroidery, 
cloud embroidery and many more things using french notes you can check out my previous tutorials for understanding different applications so that's the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you had benefit from it please comment down your doubts and enquiries i will reply to them we will see in the next video until then bye